scary weather outside. I was going to film until my dad started hammering the wall. Hey guys, I literally cannot believe that I have less than two weeks of my first year of college left. I remember doing a video when I had my first two weeks of college done. I think that's insane. They warned us it would go quick and they were very right. But right away I go to summer school so technically I don't get a break. That's okay because then I have Digitour and a Teen Wolf convention right away. Let me give you an insight on my first year of college. First and foremost, the boys are much better looking in college and nicer. And there's virtually nobody for me at high school and apparently nobody in college either. But a perk of being single is being able to enjoy the view. I mean, come on ladies, there's a huge difference between college men slash boys and high school boys but that doesn't mean they have matured at all whatsoever. Moving on. The teachers are very lenient. Well, I guess that depends on the teacher. They let you out early most of the time. They also allow you to turn in things maybe weeks late, papers late, tests late. As long as let them know what's up and why you're gone or why you're missing school, they'll pretty much be on your good side. Our college had a brand new part built on before I actually got into the college and it is just gorgeous to look at. It's like a lounge slash cafe area, and I spend most of my time over there. Very modern-like. Shocker, I'm not in the library. But since the school is like visually nice to look at, it's a very nice environment. Except for the other day, the glass completely shattered. We don't know why. There was a thing, uh, there was a crack in the ceiling though, maybe that's where it came from. That leads me into the students and people of the school. There's three main types. The loud ones, the students who like to study, and the very social butterflies. I could be all three at times, it just depends on what time of the day it is or what time of the week it is on top of who I'm with. The food choice is much better than the middle school and high school trade food. I normally get like the wraps with like you can put whatever you want in it for five dollars, but the other day they made it so awful that I actually had to eat it like a salad. I got looked at weird. Thank you very much sandwich making man. I think they're just making the wraps like a thinner bread, which I hate shortcuts. The last thing is, is that the school was super confusing when I first started, and now I practically know it like the back of my hand. What are you? The hallways are like numbered and lettered and there's upstairs and downstairs and fireplaces that look exactly the same. But since I'm pro now, I probably could show somebody around. Good luck, freshies. I can say that now. I do kind of feel bad for the incoming freshmen though. I remember how confused I was. I'm officially a sophomore in two weeks. Anyway, sorry for a boring vlog this week. I just kind of threw something together because I thought I was going to California, but I'm not anymore, so... I could have done a better job. Anything else about college? You have a lot of tests and quizzes and papers. The bad thing about it though is that your tests are literally your grade. You don't get points for like being there or showing up and stuff like that. But thankfully I don't have a class like that, but some people complain that just their test scores or just those three tests are gonna determine their grade. I don't think that's fair. Today I actually got to see my counselor from high school and she's like, so how's everything going? I'm like, good first year of college, community college. I'm not looking forward to speech this summer, but I would take four weeks versus 18 weeks any day of the week. Anyways, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe. Comment what you guys look forward to when you go to your first year of college. Wish me luck and stay nerdy.